wanted to to put a a um, dragonfly in the middle of this coaster. So what I did was actually my sister sent me this outline of a dragonfly. So all I did was get was I got some clay and I rolled up little strips and I just outlined and then baked it. So today I want to paint it up and um, see how cool we can make this. So I'm going to use the bubble effect, which which I've definitely seen people use for um, for um, pendants and jewelry. And I want to see how well it works on him because I think only his body will probably have a really good effect of it because the wings are so delicate, but we'll give it a shot. So let me get a paper towel. And yes, Cheddar is just chatting with me. He's not upset. <laughs> just <laughs> Come here, Cheddar. Come on. So I'm going to use some black gel nail polish. And it doesn't doesn't really matter um, what, I use, oh, what kind or what brand. But we're going to use a UV light. So I'm going to paint him black. Oops. What he really wants me to do and what he's yelling at me for is he wants me to go watch him run on his kitty wheel. He's extremely excited because I'm home from work. <laughs> so he comes out here and yells at me until I go watch him on his wheel. He's just a show off. And um, so he's telling me that right now. Come get me or come watch me. Now gel nail polish will sit here and, or this nail polish will just sit here and be wet until you use the UV light on it. So it's, if you touch it, it will definitely get on your hands and your fingers. So I've never, uh, I actually purchased this just for this. Okay, so the next step is to, I got this little uh, plastic container and I put a little bit of water in it, um, like a tiny bit of water at the bottom and some dish soap. And what we're going to do is, we're going to shake this up until there's a lot of bubbles in it. So 
so and I wanted little bubbles instead of big ones and I was thinking now that I'm doing this that, that glass the container probably would have been a little bit better as far as friction goes so now I'm just gonna take a brush a paint brush and I'm going to just the bubbles Pile the bubbles on top of this guy, like this. And you can pile them pretty high because right in the middle, we're gonna scrape them, you know, the top layer of the bubbles off and then put it back in. So I guess you could probably use your finger. I just didn't want to get the gel nail polish on my finger. Okay. Now I'm going to set the timer. I'm going to do it for two minutes so we'll be back in two minutes are you going to keep yelling at me while i'm doing stuff are you happy now mm -hmm. okay okay so if you look at that Going to you can see that the how the bubbles reacted on him. It's kind of a cool, very cool um, effect. And then there's a couple spots. So when you get it to where it's there's some spots, all you do is you reapply your black and put the bubbles on and stick him back under. So I am going to once I do that, I'm gonna right now I'm gonna paint up the, the little spots that got missed and then I'm going to um, go ahead and do bubbles again and then after I'm done with that I'm going to do a fast motion on um, I'm gonna paint him and um, and then I will resume the coaster so but I wanted to kind of stop and kind of talk you through what I was doing here because I think it might look confusing if I was <laughs> putting soap bubbles <laughs> on a on a bug
and I accidentally started doing stuff and the recorder wasn't working. So basically I pulled the, the, the coaster out of the mold and all I did was take a glitter, glittery pin and I outlined the dragonfly. So it'll have a, a bit of a 3D dimensional look. And now I'm going, my plan is to, um, put a, um, put a clear coat on top of this. And as you can see, I actually sanded down the edges. So the, one of my favorite parts about doing a, um, coaster is when I put the clear coat on after I've sanded down the edges because it makes such a beautiful difference in how the coaster looks. So today I'm, I'm going to um, get this guy ready and then um, we will put a clear coat on and then after that it should be done because I wasn't going to do the sanding of the whole thing just to keep it a bit thin. 